The sound of the final buzzer means it's hangover time. So grab a drink and join your host, Alphonse Sidney, for a Miami Heat Beat post-game show. Panthers win! Panthers win! Oh my God, guys. Another game where we almost scored 10 goals. Uh, we almost had two hat tricks um, from Reinhardt. And Reinhardt had a tr- hat trick, and then Marchment, um, who <laughs> plays at the LW position, uh, left had two wing. left yeah. wing. Yeah. <laughs> left wing. Um, no, keep going, keep going, keep going. He had two of them things. Um, Barkov with one of them things. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, That's what it says on the stat sheet. <laughs> one of them who, uh, Huberto, uh, he he didn't have any goals tonight, which was a big uh, disappointment. For me personally, uh, because I'm a big uh, Hubie fan, uh, you guys know about me and mm. my love for Hubert, uh, uh, Hu- Huberto. Um, <laughs> welcome into the Panthers post game show. I am your host, Alphonse Sydney, aka Alf954. If you're watching live on Twitch, you know we come live after every Panthers game. Number one team in the Eastern Conference or something. Ice Cats. Yeah, Ice Cats. I mean, ice Cats. What else? <laughs> This is Panthers beat. Um, Take me out, Brass. So, you know, we're not once once again, uh, big Panthers win. The the crowd was chanting for 10, even though I don't think they were at home. No, they were away. They were in Columbus playing the Blue Jackets, who apparently have a team, which is. Who scored four points tonight. Yeah, they scored four. Uh, four of them things. They call points. Four of them things. Four of them things. Goals? I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. Them uh, things, guys. So, uh, so the them Panthers. Are banging. So the Panthers <laughs> get two points. I believe you get two points for a win. Uh, what's your, you what's up, your reading, Moose? <laughs> oh, uh, I am reading Howard Stern Comes Again. Oh, uh, listen, crazy. tonight tonight was uh, no reason to watch the TV. I thought, you know what? It was a little cold out. Maybe I'll heat up with some monkey shoulder whiskey, you know, do a little oh, bit oh, of oh, reading. Slow down. We're not at that bit yet. Come on. Yeah. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Like, my, my goal this year was to do some more reading. So, you know, uh, I'm, I'm glad, why watch uh, the game tonight? We nobody, nobody had a rough night. We all just read, watched a little hockey. Yeah. And just, you know, now we're here to talk about uh, things that friends talk about, like, what, what we're drinking. So let's find out what everyone's drinking, Brass. So, Moose, you had a nice, quiet night in the, in the house. Uh, had a little whiskey and, and a, a good book. So go ahead and tell us again what you're drinking tonight. Yes, well, I am drinking the monkey shoulder, as always, you know. Um, and, yeah, I guess he played tonight, my player of the game. I, I don't know. But let's go ahead and just let's just give it to Huberto, you know, because Huberto, who yeah. doesn't love Hubi? So um, there you go. Uh, Press, take me out. I got to get back to this, okay? This he was a negative one. one on the night, <laughs> which is very surprising, Tiff. Uh, go ahead. What are you drinking tonight? And who was your hockey player of the game? Oh, uh, just got a little concoction that I made here from whatever was in the back of the fridge, way back, way back. Nice. Um, my player of the game, even though he retired, is Wayne Gretzky. <laughs> mm. The great one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Brass, what are you drinking tonight, and who is your player <laughs> of the game? I know once again it's going to be Bobby Hole, but pick somebody else. <laughs> uh, be I I'm drinking a, a, a very hey, simple Bobby drink Hull, called <laughs> called a Bennett. Uh, which is gin, uh, lime juice, and bitters, I think. I don't even know. Um, and then, um, yeah, so actually, 
I made this specifically because my player of the game is Sam Bennett. That oh. worked out beautifully. Holy shit! Oh, couldn't have planned that. Uh, yeah, he was really he was really great. Uh, plus minus is zero, so that seems to be pretty good. I mean, it ain't bad. Excellent. So uh, I'll drink to that. Pretty even there, brass. Pretty even. Big Bennett. Yeah. Big fan. Siobhan, what? Siobhan's like, I'm not playing the game. No, come on, let's play. <laughs> what, what, what are you drinking tonight? And who is your player of the game? So, um, this is a good cup of Brita. Is what we got here. Um, trying to get to the gym in the morning. Um, my hockey player of the game is Will Ferrell and John Helder from Blades of Glory. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very excellent. Nice. Excellent, very excellent suggestion. Thing. It's getting the people going. Listen, Would have been more fun to watch out tonight for sure. What the fuck it is? <laughs> um, all right, Moose. Let's be serious for a second. This game tonight, uh, heat missing. Oh, there it is—a flaming pile of shit. Rock comic now. Uh, which I yeah, feel like. Um, I feel. I feel like that's a little. <laughs> it's like all in my Yeah, get, get <laughs> over to the, the left a little bit. Uh, What's cool though is that the flames are. are Bye. Get accurate. the get the yeah. flames off your neck. <laughs> get the fire off your neck, Moose. Spray the water on your neck. Um, <laughs> missing PJ, Kyle, uh, and uh, Jimmy, of course. No yeah. Yurt, which actually, uh, at some points, I think Yurt could have really helped them tonight. No, he could have helped them tonight. They could have rebound for shit, and they actually went two bigs because. Uh, there was no Jimmy out there, and all they did was they had three shooters and two bigs out there, which you can get away with when the other three guys can shoot, Moose. Um, yeah, it would have been nice to have some paint presence tonight. Looking yeah. at you, Bam, out of bio. Oh, A L- little oh, disappointed no. in that one tonight. Like, I- I'm going to be honest. Tonight was a scheduled loss coming into it. You look at uh, all the injuries, fourth night in, uh, like, five games. Now we got to go to fucking Canada tomorrow for a back-to-back. Thanks a lot, Adam <laughs> Silver, for that um, but also, let's be honest here. Spo knows what he's doing, okay? Hit him one time with a shit shot. <laughs> Why did I read it? Well, okay, whatever. Uh, I got you. I got you. Um, but what Spo is really doing, and this isn't being spoken about enough. Spo Guys, about. let's be honest. Uh, Brass, take me out here for a second. What? We all maybe only get like one vacation yeah. our entire work year or whatever. Nobody wants to go to fucking Cleveland on their vacation. All That's right, Spoh's not correct. trying to coach this point. all-star game. That he is absolutely tonight correct. Tonight was a scheduled loss. He was like, listen, guys, this is going to be all we're going to do tonight. It's not going to be much. But that way, you know, get some, get some <laughs> what, days wait, off. Got a injury? taste of that first seed. Got a real good taste of that first yeah, exactly. seed. Exactly. Finally some respect. Do. And then, no. yeah, you pull it back and you, you kind of dip into second soon. And then, yeah, I, I, well, Jimmy, I Jimmy got a left pinky toe uh, spasm. What the, yeah, Big yeah. toe. Uh, yeah, it's major oh, shit up. <laughs> no, Jimmy, Jimmy, Moose, Moose, Jimmy Moose, back hurt. You, I need to comment. <laughs> I, I, I kind of blame this on Tyler, this, this loss, and not oh, necessarily oh. the way he played tonight. But if he didn't hit that fucking clutch three to bring us into our first of our three overtimes the other okay. night. Yeah. I, I get where you're going. All right. And then That's did fair. am I am I correct? Didn't he hit another one to bring us into another over? Like, I mean, come Listen, on. He shot us in and out of the fucking single, game. He was missing every <laughs> single shot until it was like, ooh, is this to extend the game? Bang! <laughs> Let's go. Woo! More basketball. I, I, I understand where you're going with that tonight. Again, I think tonight was a scheduled loss. I think Tyler Hero was also in on it. I don't know if he wants to go to Cleveland either with the way that he's playing right now. Um He's not but oh. he's not an he wasn't, he wasn't <laughs> in a lot of danger of going to he's been, he's Tip, a great Tip year. And I, but. Tip and I were talking about he deserves to be an all star, but I think his past couple games have weakened his bid. And I, I ultimately, I don't know if he's going to get in there. None of them need to go to Cleveland. Go home, Jimmy. Yes. I, I hope Jimmy gets selected and gets another one of these left toe spasms. Exactly. Uh, go you know, home. I can't, I can't yeah. go. I can't. I can't. He right. said he still got selected. It's still right. added yeah. to his number. Yeah, that's the way Tell Adam it. Silver your ass still hurts. Sit down. Right. Said, I got a crack all the Lay way down. up the middle of my Lay ass. Down. I can't. You know, can a coach Lay do down. that too? Lay down. Can a coach? Can a coach come up with that excuse too? That'd be um, kind of cool for Spo to get he, it, and he's like, "Nah, I'm good. Thank you I mean, for the honor, though." Keep, he's just gonna keep. My ass I mean, hurts. Nah. <laughs> they're still in first place. Yeah, yeah. it's gonna be. It's, I think he has till February 5th to get out of that first oh, place spot. Well, um, yeah. But Tim, I mean, listen, we'll probably play like week, 10 guys. games by then. Tim, there was a bright spot. There was a bright spot because Max got his groove back tonight, y'all. Yeah. 
Hey, oh, hey, 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 hey. Hit him one. Moose, hit him one time. Hit him one time with a grin grind. <laughs> Rass, I'm so glad you saved that reveal for the show. That was great. <laughs> How Max got his streus back. Mm. Oh, you see, you see what I did there? See what you did there? Oh. Yeah, when you get your Twitter back, you should tweet that out. I, I might, <laughs> if I ever get my Twitter back. Imagine um, having a game like that, a career-defining game, and then you lose by thirty. <laughs> oh, Yo, man. and look, but the best part was Max looking around at everybody else. Right. <laughs> yeah, y'all lost. <laughs> Max said, y'all lost. I ain't do shit. Max played forty-one minutes. Right. <laughs> Nine threes that was a minus 26 on the night. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Damn it. That's a, whoo, that's a pretty wild game. Listen, uh, it ain't it, Max's fault he was under the basket getting dunked on by Time Lord. <laughs> Max is fucking six foot two. <laughs> they said six five. I don't believe it. I don't but believe no it way. either. No. But in all but in all in all seriousness, he's having a rough stretch. And he hopefully this gives him yeah. something going forward because they need that out of him because, you yeah. know, it's one of those nights. Doug has been off the last two nights in a row, just completely miss it. Uh, I think he hit that second three in the fourth quarter, and E. Reed let out the saddest kaboom I ever heard. Like, oh, come on. Uh, <laughs> come on. I'm like, bro, you don't have to do it down 30. Right. Like, just... It's not in your contract. It's okay. <laughs> Um, let it go. And really, this was is. a revenge game for Max, wasn't it? Because he was, yeah, they he let was, him go. Yeah, they let oh, him yeah. go. So oh, I mean, yeah. that's really what that oh, was about. Yeah. Um, but no, I do think it's good going forward for Max. Hopefully, yeah. it's, it's something yes. he could build on. Yeah. This is another one of those losses that's annoying, <laughs> but it doesn't necessarily define us. Just because you look at everyone that's missing. I mean, you know, Bam admittedly has been uh, disappointing as of late. Um, doesn't mean he can't get it back, especially when the team. Uh, when the team is full strength again, but uh, this, this, was, this sucked. This sucked. I can't. I, there's nothing else I can say. It sucked. Bomb up. I think. You want to borrow I, my book? Yeah. That's really good. Really uh, good. Bon, the, the, I don't really want to come for the first time after this fucking game. Uh, this is, oh, Bam wow. was disappointing. What did I miss? What? I missed a joke. Yeah. That, that, I got to rewatch book. that. It comes again. Oh, there we go. Phrasing. Uh, Bam looked, he had a nice little stretch, I think, in the third, where he finally looked like he remembered how to play basketball. Like, after that first, where he was doing that same bullshit, where he does three moves, the second move got him to the basket, but he decides, no, nah, I practice shit, I'm, I am practice this, I'm gonna finish it. He had to do the whole thing, he was getting the ball poked out of his hands left and right, couldn't hold on to shit, and in the third quarter, he finally starts playing halfway decent, and four fouls in the third quarter, he has to go sit down. And I think what makes it so disappointing is that, oh, what is this, Spo? We played about seven good minutes of basketball, and the rest of it, I would love to just put in a dumpster. Yes, Spo, huh? same. Yeah, Spo. Um, but the thing about Bam that gets you so upset is when you see him do the things he did in that third quarter. The things he did in the third quarter weren't even things that he did. He got a lob and two dump offs and dumped the ball like he should be doing. Bam was very disappointing tonight. It's been two solid games and like these are the nights that you that you have these are the nights that you have the people who feel like they want more or or feel a way about their contract these are the nights where like I don't think that you can be upset with those people right no one's saying that Bam isn't this it's like otherworldly uh like just physical like physical human being um, and, and like you, you appreciate all the things that he does defensively, the, the intellect, the length, the tenaciousness, just wanting to play good defense. But like you want him to give you something offensively or to look like he wants to give you something offensively or to look like he understands that it's time for him to be the one to give you something offensively. Yeah, Brass, he can get it, you know, when everyone else gets back. But they have to like be able to win with just him. We've seen them okay. win with just Kyle and the others. We've seen them with a stretch of Jimmy and the others. And and it's going to look different, right? Jimmy and Kyle are going to do more facilitating and Bamp can facilitate, but they need him to be impactful offensively. And he just didn't feel he hasn't felt like he just wanted to compete offensively for like the last two games. And 
And in, in honesty, it's been other spurts like this throughout the season. But the last couple of games have just been like really like heart wrenching for me personally. Agreed. I, I have I have a ridiculously stupid stat that you could throw into that fucking dumpster uh, that Spo <laughs> was talking about. Uh, but I'll pose it as a question to the panel here. Uh, there is one player who didn't who played tonight who did not finish the one player who did not finish with a negative uh plus minus chris silva. chris silva chris silva, silva. yeah chris silva. i was chris actually gonna say silva. udonis but okay. throw that shit right nope. in the garbage throw it in the garbage minus five. Udonis is a minus five um but you don't like chris for getting, getting paid this year I don't think <laughs> Moose. I think to Siobhan's point, I don't think like okay, maybe the game itself. I think we all thought it was going to be an L coming in, but you would have liked to see something like. And, and let's not just put it all on Bam. Tyler was shitty. Duncan was shitty. Like yes. the three, yeah. the three guys that yeah. need to step up in this situation yeah. were oh. trash, right? And like that's the stuff. Like if they lost by eight or something, and like you just. Those, they had 20 points each, and you you chalk it up like, hey, man, right. you know. You're right. Being, cooked, and the three of y'all look like trash. You, yeah. They look like the three of the worst players on the team. That, so, I mean. I'm, I'm not trying to, you know, gloss over Tyler. Yes, he was bad tonight. I think of the three, he probably gave you the most, maybe in like in the first quarter or something. But I, I agree. I'm Duncan, hungry. I don't know where the fuck Duncan oh, was yeah, no. or where he has been. Um, and <laughs> I'm not trying. Since preseason. <laughs> right. And, and again, I'm not trying to like put it all on Bam, but I'm with Siobhan. That's the one that frustrates me the most. Like we're, we say it every fucking game. We're not asking you to do anything you can't do. Just play aggressive. If you play, you are the strongest guy on the court every single night. And when you play the way you can play, you play like the biggest guy on the court. And that makes everybody around you better. Why aren't you doing that more? Like, it's, it's, I don't feel like we're asking you to do anything that you're incapable of. We've seen it. That's why we gave him the contract. And to those people that are saying he's not a max player, I still disagree with that. When he's playing the way he wants to play or the way he should be playing, he is a max guy. And if not us, somebody else would have given him the max. So, yes, he is, he is a max player. But he can't be your number one. And he's showing that right now because this is his opportunity to play like a number one. And it's been slipping through his fingers. It's fair. And that poses that, that, but, that mentality has to come with the maxingness. Like it has to, that's like that's all part of the package. And so, like, yeah, flashes. And I, I understand like investing and getting it under, you know, you know, being able to have it before someone else comes and get it. But like, and I'm not saying he isn't a max player, but like these fucking arguments, they 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 are continuing to kind of present themselves sometimes. Well, I, I would say this. Is Rudy Gobert a max player? Yes, because the league lets everybody be a max player. But so at this saying. point, he, this whole ag guy is max player exactly. has to be your right. number one option. That goes with that too. Rudy, right. has, Rudy has a clear physical advantage to where you can do something with it. Bam doesn't have... He but does. Bam, I mean, I like I, to me, Bam is a more versatile defense. Like, I don't like... But the, it's different. It's different yeah. because... Let's, let's just say it like this. The reason why it's different is because... Utah, they ask him to do different things. They want Rudy to do different things than the Heat need Bam to do. So we can't. So comparing them, are, they're apples and oranges because Rudy is doing what they're paying him to do, and he's doing it well. That's right. the whole point. Th to this point, Bam is not doing what we need him to do right now. Right. For instance, it, once you clawed back into that game by the bench, because the bench got you right back into the game, then that's when you needed Bam to say, all right, first of all, get on the post, not the high post, not the mid range, but the low post. Put your ass in somebody's chest and get your hand up for the pass. Like those are the things we're asking him to do. Not mm -hmm. get the ball out of position, fumble it, and then get it back to the shooter with three seconds left on the clock. No, Bam, take the shot. I don't care if you miss 40. Take them. You, no one on the court tonight could guard him. No one. And yet he took no advantage of it. So, yeah, he's a max player by definition, because guess what? The whole fucking league is overpaid. So let's just be realistic. Like the money is a wash because everybody's getting the money. The money is a wash. It's about what you're giving to the team when they need it. And he's just not doing it. That's I it. I will say regarding the Bam and Rudy thing. Um, yeah, I, I, I agree with everything you said, Tiff. 
Um, and also, as especially as of late, Bam is not nearly, nearly as aggressive. Uh, he's not aggressive enough to start a worldwide pandemic like uh, Rudy was. So, <laughs> you know, there's that. <laughs> But you know, like I said, like the whole the whole max contract stuff. I don't that stuff. I don't care if he's getting paid the minimum or getting paid the max. What right. he needs, what they needed for him, what they needed out of him tonight, they did not get. And it's, it's like the same thing with Duncan. I don't care about the contract as much as I care about what is a team needing from you on a night to night basis. And a night like tonight, neither one of those guys showed up. And Tyler, when you you don't have shot creation. You know, he was out there doing a whole lot of nothing, five for 18 from the floor, just, you know, just jacking up shots and missing them. So it's the max stuff. Like, I I know everybody loves talking about contracts, 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 this and that. It's just, are you doing what you're supposed to are, are you doing what the team needs you to do? Last but that's the spin. But that's right. the spin. Because when you're not doing what you should be doing. The nope. e- the easiest thing for everyone to to go to is say, hmm. Yeah, but, but you take it. But that's it. But that's but, it. But, people it's go but, it's a, but we have to also. It. But we also have to say tonight is a night. Let them throw heat. Yeah. Because that's and just so, what it is. Totally. Let them throw the heat and let them say and he's not worth the contract. It, and guess what? Sure Tomorrow, let Bam show the fuck up. Right. Like, don't waste your time talking about like, like, oh, he's 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 not a max player. Nah, just that that's completely irrelevant because guess what? He's he's you can't paid. take the contract. You can't back. take it away. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, exactly. but that's fine. It's totally fair to <coughs> always go ahead and and if a player has had a bad game or a bad stretch of games, call them out on it. But don't I, you get lo- Twitter tends to get lost in other types of stupid conversations or comparisons. Just talk about it as it played out and 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 express your disappointment and how they've been playing. Criticize what's on the court, not what's on the contract. Right. This, this is the last thing I'll say about the contract. So I don't know. I feel like people aren't actually equating the contract, like actually looking at the contract from the literal dollars, like what they're getting paid. I feel like people are looking at the contract as like a symbol of what it is that the tier. It's you the tier. From you. Right. And so when people say you're not living up to your contract, you're not living up to what it is that we agreed on that I could come to you to ask for from a production standpoint. Not necessarily I'm giving you 47 million a year and that money isn't looking worth it. And if it is, it's because you're not doing the things that we agreed on that this money symbolized. Um, I, uh, for the most part, contract that I'm uh, the contract thing is the last thing I'm going to say about it. And we're going to move to Gaga out of the game, something fun. Uh, it's just, to me, I feel like, and everybody can debate whatever you want. Like that's the whole thing. Like I say, man, don't talk about that. Me just talk about whatever the fuck you want. I really don't care. I'm going to either, you know, tell you you're an idiot for saying it, or I'm not, or I'm not just going to ignore you. It doesn't matter. I just think contract talk. (laughs) from fans is kind of a worthless debate because we can't change that. We can't change pretty much anything, but like, it's one of those things. like, what are you, you know, what are you doing? What are you, you're not going to pull back the contract. It's not going to help anything. So to me, just talk about actually what happens in, in the game or what you need from Bam going forward, just to, to constantly harp on the contract. Like some people do it just, to me, it's worthless, and it doesn't like like uh, Leo is here in this comment. Oh, oh, Leo! What did Leo say? Brass. Well, the only reason we cannot have a whale is because we are paying a good fish. I think right. he meant goldfish. Meant goldfish, but yeah. no. What are you talking about? Like, by the way, we also got a max. Whale? We also Wait, got a where max. Where is this whale, whale that we didn't get? Space. Where is this whale that we didn't get because we have Bam out of bio? Like. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Like, it's, there's not a free agent they missed out on because they paid Bam. Y'all, you know, everyone's like, oh, get rid of uh, Jay Crowder. Get rid of all the people. You got to save money for Giannis. Save money for Giannis. What did Giannis do? Go sign his fucking extension. And you out here looking stupid because you, you got rid of Jay Crowder. And at the time, I understood the move. But all this idea of you can't pay this person, can't pay that person because you got to save the money. Okay, so whale comes loose. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Russell Westbrook's been traded four times. John Wall's about to get fucking signed, been picked up by somebody this year. Chris Paul, who we all thought was washed, and you could never pay him that money. I did not think he was washed. Well, well, a lot of people said that shit. And he is not worth his contract. Look at him now, number one team in the West. 
Like this whole idea that, oh my, save the money, save the pennies. You can't pay Duncan Robinson. Now everybody's like, well, you got to trade Duncan because that's the most valuable contract you have. Why do you think you have to pay somebody something? Oh, Goran Goran Dragos is making too much money. How do you think you got Kyle Lowry? You can't have a bunch of minimum players and two max players because you then you really can't ever make a fucking trade. Stop worrying about the fucking contract. Andy Ellisberg is smarter than you. If he will, they will figure it the fuck out if they have to get rid of Bam for some reason. Duncan ain't going to be here in three years. Like, don't worry about it. It ain't your money. You Believe me, you can't afford to pay none of these motherfuckers any of these contracts. And you'll live, whatever you're paying for cable ain't, ain't cutting it. Don't worry. You cut the cord, they still going to fucking make that money. Take me out, Brad. <laughs> Fuck love it. Contract talk. Jesus. Oh, I hate it. Anyway, let's get to the Gaga guy of the game. Okay, Leo, here's another thing. You don't know shit. You don't understand the fucking salary cap. You don't understand any of that shit. Bam's money is not stein- stopping you from giving extensions to your own fucking to do players. With Tyler. It's called fucking burn rights, you fucking morons. Like, you don't even know what you're talking about. And you out here counting niggas' pockets. <laughs> Count your own goddamn pocket. Get on your fucking banking app and fucking and re- reconcile all them overdraft fees and shut the fuck up, Leo. Take me out, Brad. Get to the guy who got out of the game. God damn. Hit him one time for some financial <laughs> advice. Drip drop. One fucking... time for tax season. Burn <laughs> <laughs> rights to your own fucking account. Shut the fuck up. For a one time. For a one k. Like don't know person. shit about the salary yeah. cap. Don't know yeah. shit about nothing. Talking about Bam stopping you uh, from re-signing Struce. Shut. Oh my God. I, we we shouldn't have gave Bam a max contract to make sure we can keep Struce. Like even if that was the case, you we know, have Struce <laughs> under contract. <laughs> like, could you imagine be like Bam? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Could you imagine explaining to the fan base, well, we didn't give Bam the extension because we had to save money for Max Struz. Even if that was true, I mean, a riot would have fucking erupted. Look at him. We pay Struz is under contract, so that's not even somebody you got to worry about. He's dancing like that before he gets to Max. Imagine exactly. That. Uh, right. How Max got his Struz back. Anyway, Brad, let's go to the first guy. guy, guy. Oh. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah, Melody yeah. agrees with me. That's right. <laughs> um, oh, here's Caleb, right on Robert Williams. Gah, 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 mm. you punk ass. Hey, I mean, he was talking to Robert Williams all game. Now it Look seems it silly now when you lose by thirty. <laughs> you know, at the time we were still in it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're still in it. I, I, I appreciate a game like after uh, yeah, Caleb after uh, Robert Williams uh, blocked, I believe Tyler. He came right back at him. Um, and hit the little layup in his face once again. Gah, 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 on your bitch ass. Uh, but then we lost by thirty. Um, <laughs> yeah, whatever. Short, short time ago. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Here we go. Gah, 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 gah. Again on Robert Williams. Wouldn't it have been fun if we won this game? Like these would be a lot more fun. That was his only aggressive yeah. move all night. He had like yeah, one we other were, one. We were in single digits at that point. <laughs> no, at least yeah. like two. Look at a little drop step on Jalen Brown. Nobody on that team could can guard Bam. He could do that all night to anybody. No, but every other time like, the ball fucking slipped out of his fucking hand and went off. Because you foot. gotta catch it. This boy's not fucking vicious in the third row. <laughs> Forgot about that first part. It's kind of important, right? <laughs> Need some stickle. Some stickle. Lord, why, why does he get bumped? around so much too like that's because his core his his core and his hip like he got i don't know he's strong and good up here like I think, ooh, I think that is a, a seal white behind him there's all that oh money God. in his pocket weigh him down he can't fucking move right <laughs> i tell you what his ass his ass better get a, open up a bank account because he need to get back to being light on his feet <laughs> no, he, under the mattress and keep it going he hurt his mm. hand from counting all his money leo <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Moose hit him one time. Oh. I hit him one time with a counting. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing there. I don't know. <laughs> Kenny came in and kind of threw me off there. I didn't know what happened. Yeah, we're, wow, let's get Kenny. Yeah, I, honestly, I was just, I was trying to watch backstage. Honestly, 
What's up? My internet's still trash, I think, but fuck it. Nah, give us your takes on the game. Yeah, everything we, your internet's not losing by 30. It's still this bad again. Jesus fucking Christ, man. No. This is what? No, you're good. But, you're good. Kenny, you good. Go. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so um, playmaking is important. I don't really understand, especially like so when Kyle went out, all the talk about Jimmy not needing the ball sort of stop, but it didn't. And now we see tonight they couldn't generate offense worth shit. And this is what happens. And also PJ and, PJ and Jimmy's out. There's no defense outside of Bam and Gabe. And as great as they may be, it's not enough. You got a lot of bullshit rotations and shit. And then you see stuff that's shooting out of mind because they're wide open. And so I didn't expect to win tonight. It could be it could be a little frustration. It is frustrating, but whatever. The injury report kicked our ass. If y'all did that second already, no, we didn't even do it. Oh, no, okay. I got it, Alf. I got it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he was he was petering out at the end there. You ain't Man, talked for I the did. last thirty minutes, and that's all you came with. <laughs> I missed the whole show. I don't want to repeat anybody's point. And plus, I said, and like a little bit of like peeking behind the curtain, I definitely said, leave me backstage. And then I'm sitting here looking at settings and I'm on the show. I mean, you could have waited like, <laughs> I didn't do it, Kenny. Left the studio. You could have waited a few minutes and just watched us on Twitch replay, but it's all good. Damn, whatever. You think, his, to have you. you think his Wi-Fi can support Twitch? Ooh, good point. He watching the Hangover Time for the other day on YouTube. Siobhan. <laughs> Yo. Let's go to your breakdown. Cool. Oh, hold on, hold up. Let me break it down. So it can forever and consistently be broke. So the offense pissed me off today. Um, so <laughs> I miss Kyle, I man. I gave it none of my attention. So I only have, I only have three today. Um, it's all defense. It's the zone. And I just I just want to talk about the zone because it's, it's stressing me out. <laughs> Kenny Wi-Fi struggles playing with his Nokia. Chill with that. Kenny's still on that brick breaker. He's got the last, the last one is <laughs> still in existence. Um, go ahead, Brass. Okay, so pause. All right, so they're in this 2-3, and they play like – They've been playing a high two three. The back line <clears throat> is like at least at the block or, or higher between Max and Silva. Bam's up here because we'll talk about what's happening over there um, in, in another clip. Point of this is they're high as hell. So go ahead, friends. I wish. <laughs> so they're moving. Things are happening. I'm high as hell right now. Oh, wait. Is this number one? Yeah, this is the order you gave me. Okay. Um, go ahead, play it again. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay. Oh, this is one big kid. Okay, so pause. So now you have Kyle uh with Horford. He just had Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum is now at the top of the like in the free throw line area. They are misbalanced over here, so go ahead. So boom. So Kyle has to check all the way down here. So then uh, Max had to go all the way up there. <laughs> and then the ball is just kicked to the corner. And then they're able to continue to move through the zones. Um, I, I, it, it just bothers me. One more time, this play is just through. It just bothers me the amount of work that they make their top wing do. Kyle had to come back, come here. Max comes here. When Chris Silva doesn't move at all in the mm -hmm. zone, and he still doesn't come out to contest Jason, right? You didn't do anything the whole possession. You can at least make that a good contest, but no. Go ahead. Yeah, you're exhausting him his, for no reason. That's why he got a zero for plus minus. He just didn't do anything. <laughs> Fair, I guess. So, oh yeah, so Kyle Guy gets gets hit by the screen. So, start this from the beginning, right. please. There's a difference, pause. So there's a, a like a different way to kind of rotate through the zone from being like the ball being advanced through a pass and then the ball being advanced on a dribble. So he's dribbling, he's coming off this screen. Kyle gets up, gets hit by the screen. Go ahead. Literally. Oh, yeah, like knocked out too. Like, His literally. hair was shaking. <laughs> so pause, right? So they 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 managed to Knock shake the perm out his shit. <laughs> they managed to shake themselves back up a bit. Spend my whole per diem on this, guys. <laughs> oh no! Like play one more time, please. Okay. 
Um, so boom, rock. You gotta talk to your post. Boom, pause. So, all right, Tyler comes up. Kyle again. Tyler's all the way or Kyle's all the way over there with Tyler. Has to pace all the way back over here. Go ahead. Now Jason's gonna flash in the middle. <clears throat> pause. So now this isn't pass. This isn't dribble. This is a pass. So now Tyler isn't guarding anybody because there's no one for him to take because it was advanced on the pass. So you have like this three on two over here in the paint on the backside. They're mismatched up there. Go ahead. So now you end up with two to the ball, quick move, quick rotation, and a bunch of running back and forth. You missed the shot, but shots like this were there for them to, to hit all night. Um, and then the last one. And then they get the offensive rebound with two quote unquote bigs on the floor. The rebound effort was, was gross all night. Atrocious. I think Bam had one rebound in the first half. Play this one from the from the beginning. This is the one I thought was the first one. So they're in their zone, boom, pause. Look how high up they are. Look at how high their back line is, how stretched out Boston has made their zone. It's mm -hmm. incredibly soft right now. That middle is wide open. To try to cover the middle, your back line is super high up. And then this is what happens to Chris Silva. Go ahead. Like these things can't happen. And for real, for real, Bam is in the position to have that happen to him too. I just right. trust his recovery better than I trust Chris Silva's. But like the, you can take me out, the offense, was non-existent and the defense was porous at best and it was just not a, a, a fun game not a cute game i had fun with it still because it, it was basketball but it just wasn't a good game for my end. yeah i just want to say uh, chris silva had nine rebounds tonight and uh the next up were bam high. and deadman with five each oh, oh and duncan and duncan duncan also five good friend. i don't believe that shit. yeah i don't believe that I don't believe them quick. You play like how how much is Duncan? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I hope Duncan saw that he played garbage time in a yeah. blowout. I thought mm, the same. Right, thing. exactly. Like, you know, that's exactly. a great point. Yeah. I was thinking the that same. That makes him feel yeah. a fucking way. Mm -hmm. You out there were UD and Kyle guy. All right. <laughs> so, talk about contracts. <laughs> Oh, Kenny's back. Yeah. Gotta hit him one time with a dial up. Oh, what's what's no, I'm not. I'm, I'm actually real frustrated, all jokes aside. I'm not back. I'm, man, what the fuck? Hey, rant against your uh, internet provider. Go. <laughs> no, nah, I'm like dead serious, real frustrated with this shit. I don't even want to just take me out, man. Oh, 